I was 16 when this happened to me, and it still haunts me to this day. My older brother's friend gave me work of house-sitting his rather large house for two days, with the pay rate being 100 a night. For the sake of privacy reasons, let's call my brother's friend Nick. $200 was a lot for such a simple task as house-sitting, and since I recently sold my PlayStation 3 to save up for a PlayStation 4, the job came as godsend. At around 6 p.m., Nick picked me up and drove me to his house, as it was getting dark out. Once we got there, he told me about the security cameras he had installed in and out of his home. But I didn't have any intentions of staring at any security monitor all night, as I had brought my laptop to pass the time. After some time had passed, I felt hungry and decided to grab something from the fridge. But as I got up to make my way down, I saw movement out of the corner of my eye from the monitor. I sat back down, closing my laptop, and taking a closer look, noticing the movement coming from camera 4. Upon closer inspection, I noticed that it was a silhouette of what appeared to be a man standing outside the house. Within seconds of glancing away from the monitor, the man was gone. At that very moment, I heard glass shatter somewhere downstairs, causing me to immediately look at the cameras, noticing him crawling in through the basement window at an alarming rate. I started to panic, watching him climb the basement stairs with a knife clenched in his hand. I quickly locked the door to my room and dialed 911 explaining everything. I watched the monitor terrified to see the man on the same floor as mine, desperately opening and closing the doors, looking for anyone to cross his path. I pressed my ear against the door, straining to hear his now slowed footsteps approach my door as he attempted to open it. Realizing I was in there, he began to shout and pound on the door aggressively, frightening me to the very core. As I sat there shaking, I heard sirens in the distance, steadily getting louder and louder. My fear quickly disappeared as I heard the man run towards the stairs, attempting to escape his fate. When I heard the front door slam open, accompanied by somebody yelling, Police! Put your hands in the air! Moments later, I walked downstairs and saw the intruder in a pair of handcuffs being escorted to the police cruiser. I thanked one of the officers and called Nick, explaining everything to him. After about 20 minutes, he picked me up and took me home. But I got no sleep that night. All I could think of was how lucky I was to be alive. And if the cops hadn't shown up when they did, I wouldn't be here to tell this story.